Maxie likes me, don't you, Maxie? You smell funny. Uh, right, 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 now, we have got no time for this today. Now, why don't you two just make yourselves useful for a change and help me set up an information desk? Information desk? Oh, just do it! I might have made a mistake. They're just not up to someone as lively as you. That's not fair! I saw them first! Can't you do it? No. He's been headhunted. Oh. Mr. Smart really does listen to my suggestions, after all. You recommended him for another job. <laughs> oh, brilliant, isn't it? Shouting doesn't help, Jenny. All I'm trying to say is that... Sometimes, Elaine, you can be so pig-headed, you shouldn't be let anywhere near kids like Tracy Beaker. Dear, how many germs there are on this? No, Elaine. Hundreds of thousands. And what about your hands? They're clean. Uh, that is what you think, but at this very second, your palms are teeming with a writhing mass of bacteria. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, I want you to wear these for every food preparation task. Oh, Mike, these are fabulous. I couldn't pinch the last one, could I? I've got such a busy schedule. What with Tracy's parents' evening, I won't get a chance to eat. She won't be getting a very good report from her teacher, though. Then, what can you expect? Nobody's perfect, Elaine. You're what? You said I was child of the week. You're not supposed to tell her stuff and change your mind the minute you've told it. You're still child of the week, Tracy. But now Louise is too. Then I'm not child of the week, am I? Cos two childs make a children. Any thicko knows that. Elena, stop moaning and sort yourself out! You're right. I have to do something. Thank you, Justine. I'm going to change my life. Go for it. Say goodbye to the old Elaine and hello to the new... Where's my coat? Tracy is a lively, healthy, chatty ten-year-old who's been in care for a number of years. She has a few behavioural problems and needs firm, loving handling in a long-term foster home. Is that the best you could say? That I'm healthy? I say you're lively too. That's grown-up code for difficult. And how could you put all the stuff about behavioural problems? Your aunt stinks and I hate it. Only mad people are going to want to foster me and it'll all be your fault. Tracy, wait. There you go, Alice. Thanks, Lang. How are you feeling, Jenny? Well enough to eat a nice bit of soft boiled egg. Mm. Elaine, what are you doing here? You sounded terribly stressed on the phone. I thought I'd pop in and see what I could do. Oh, that's so kind. Don't mention it. We professional women, we have to stick together. <laughs> well, you see, the thing is, Nathan and Duke, they've taken all the kids out, you know, to save me from, you know, losing my mind and everything. So. Oh, Jenny, you deserve a medal, you really do. Yeah. Well, I'll see you later. OK. Bye. Oh. I just thought... This is perfect. What is? I've got all these case notes to go through and there won't be anybody here to disturb us. Every girl deserves a pretty pink dress. Anything less would fail to impress. You'll be a stunner at any function. The bell of the ball at every posh luncheon. A pretty pink dress is top of the list. So take my advice. I so insist. I so insist. I so insist. I so insist. Elaine, some, some things, things never change. change. Even in a dream, you're complete and utter pain. pain. 